Welcome to Unbox Burrito. Here I have the first partner collector's binder for Pokemon and the first partner card set for the first month which contains the Sword and Shield first partner cards and two regular booster packs. So I'm going to open the binder first because this is what you start off with. When you look on the back, you can look to see the condition of the extra large oversized Pikachu card. Now this is similar to the original Pikachu. Oh man, they even have the date here back in 1998. Now the only difference is it does have the 25th anniversary Pikachu badge here that the original Pikachu card obviously wouldn't have. Okay, so let's open this up first. Wow, I just ripped it. Giant oversized Pikachu card. This is the back. This is actually pretty cool. It feels flimsy. I'm pretty sure it's the same uh, card thickness as a regular card, but it feels flimsy once it hits this uh, side. I'm not sure how it would be if it, they actually increased the thickness of the cardstock to make it feel more solid like a regular size standard card. Man, nostalgia feels back when he uh, had a little weight to him. Little chunky. Let's see, we also get this paper. The release of the extra large set to celebrate the 25th celebration. And it shows you the regions that are going to come out for the next 8 months. September is Johto and October is the good old Kanto. Bulbasaur! Charmander! Squirtle! These two are the big deals for me. So on the back we just have a small little checklist. It's weird, it starts off with Pikachu because they give you Pikachu first. And then it kind of goes backwards. Kind of confusing. So, looking at the binder, you can see all the starter Pokemon in the back here with a nice Pikachu tail. Here's the side, it just says train on. And the back just continues the pictures. And inside we just have 30 sleeves for 30 cards or 60 cards if you double side them. Which I actually like double siding. So for now, let's put Pikachu in the front. I already know I'm going to want to organize from first gen all the way up to current. Here's Pikachu in the sleeve. It fits very nicely. There is a very generous amount of extra space so definitely two cards will fit. And I will test that out once I open this. That contains the current Galar region starters. Here's the explanation of the 25 years. They're celebrating it in a gigantic way with gigantic cards. Well, that opened up pretty nicely. So inside we have the three cards and we have two booster packs. Vivid Voltage from Sword and Shield and a Sun and Moon Grookey Branch Poke and the Pikachu stamp. And here we have Score Bunny, Super Siege is his attack, and here's the stamp. And Sobble with Bind. And there's the Pikachu stamp. Standard Pokemon card backing. I always double side because all the backs are the same. So why would I, why do I want to keep looking at the same back? So I might as well save some space and double up the cards that fit into my binders. Two cards fit very smooth and very nice and there's still a lot of generous space left over in here the pikachu back from 98 and then the current grookey score bunny and then sobble here if for whatever reason you want to put four of these cards in one sleeve you can there's enough room i would say to have Probably six of these cards. When I get six of these cards, I'll test that out later. I'm going to start off with Sun and Moon. That opened up decently well. And I don't do cards the regular way because I'm not a Pokemon channel. I'm a savage! Classy, bougie, rich. This Reverse Hollow Pharaoh is our rare. Actually, is Stoutland's the rare. I just also got a Reverse Hollow Pharaoh. Nothing fancy looking. Growlithe, Poplio. Wingull, Surskit, Young Goose, Dark Energy, Team Skull Grunt Trainer card, Pinsa, and then we got an Ultra Ball Trainer card, Vivid Voltage, let's go. 
This is my first sword and shield pack of cards. And you know, I'm a savage. <laughs> Shaman, not bad. Ooh. This is a funky hollow here. It has like lines in it. You see that? I believe Shaman's uh, one of those legendaries, right? Even though I don't really care for Shaman that much, but like once it's hollow, you gotta admit, shiny things are more attractive, aren't they? And a reverse hollow picky pack. Whoa, look at the design in the background with the stars. That's pretty cool. I guess that's what they're doing with the new cards these days. So we have a Tynamo, exe Execute, Chatot, Clobopus, Skiddo, Green Energy, Wellow, League Staff. Ooh, and a Charmeleon. Hey, I recognize this one. And there, so that's everything that comes in this set. And actually, I just remembered that I have some extra oversized cards somewhere. So yeah, I actually forgot till just now that I actually have a few of these oversized cards that I've accumulated over the years of collecting Pokemon. And I didn't know what to do with them, so I just threw them in a bag. But now, I have a perfect binder to put them in. So let's start off here, we have a Ho-Oh Break. That is a crazy shiny background, man. I love that background. We got a Mewtwo EX. Hollow. I don't remember where you get these. I just got them a while ago and ooh, Darkrai. Deoxys EX. Oh look, this is a lenticular like 3D. Ooh, look at the background. Look at that 3D effect. Woo! Play the lenticular. I, I hate when they do these. Like who who's actually gonna write it and ruin the card? But yeah, so this card's actually thicker because of the plastic lenticular layer. So that's six cards. Oh snap! These cards are bigger. Okay. We are learning something new here. So these oversized cards from the first partner set is actually smaller. Uh oh. So that means this isn't even gonna fit in here? Yeah, these do not fit in here. Okay, so if there's a different standard to the size of these cards. I can't even store these cards in the binder. I'm gonna have to put them back in this plastic sleeve that I happened to find. I believe this is a plastic sleeve made to hold a um, DVD case. So if you have one of those, it should fit these super oversized cards fine. So uh, keep that in mind. This is a different size oversize. Okay, well then. Well that, I guess, would conclude this unboxing of the first, first partner trainer pack. I plan on eventually getting every single set each month and I will be releasing a shorter video just opening up each one of these and adding it to the binder. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I appreciate anything you do. Thanks for watching.